Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So with module 25, we'll be getting some new sets. These are artifact sets, so they'll be going in your neck, waist, and one of your artifact slots to give you a bonus along with item level stats and in particular special to these gear pieces is the boost to your ability scores. So with this next module, we'll be getting the domination set that entails the wand of domination, the hypnotizing pendant, and also the greater beholder belt. Then we are also getting the eye of Odran plus the Sanity Preservation Choker, and the Tassets of Mind Restraint. Now, the first set here is Mythic, and it has a freaking ton of item level, 2,050. And then the other set is Legendary with just 2,000 item level. You, of course, can go and upgrade the artifacts. Now, there is something special with that. But first, you will obtain this Mythic set from doing the Master Trial of Xemnid's Reliquary. So you'll need like 75,000 item level on a private queue along with pretty much a min-max build and know what you're doing, have experience in previous trials as well. And the second legendary set will come from just doing heroic encounters and in part through the campaign. So let's go over these new sets and see if they'll be any good. You gotta test them whether they work how they say they do as well. We will also compare them against Mithilar and Demogorgon sets that you may currently be using. Now, first of all, those artifacts. They're going to have higher item level than any artifact we've seen in the game. So we have the Wand of Domination, and we can go through the upgrade progress here. I'm just going to use Colmos. This is a preview server. Don't freak out. Normally, you'll use Preservation Wards. And you can see the costs are, are the same, right? But the costs change as soon as we get to Legendary. You can see upgrading to Legendary, you need five enchanting stones. Normally, as we would have seen, let's say I upgrade these assassins dice to go and let's say upgrade them to mythic. When you want to get it to legendary, it'll just cost you two enchanting stones. So that's already a change right there. That's something different. So we can upgrade it further. We get it to legendary now, little 10% upgrade chance. So at least they haven't changed that. And then we get it to mythic. And again, that should just be a 5% upgrade chance is normal, but you will see something new. We now need legendary enchanting stones, AKA enchanting stone rank sixes. Yes, they're changing the names of those enchanting stones to what you see here. Common enchanting stones, uncommon, epic, legendary, potentially getting mythic enchanting stones down the road. But we can get this thing upgraded to mythic, this wand of domination, and we can now see it's giving us a total of 1,500 item level. That is 300 item level higher than the current highest item level artifacts, like the Dragonbone Blades, the Assassin's Thighs, Mithalar, those artifacts that you may have used. Now, unfortunately, you will not be able to unbind it either, like the newer ones as well, but you will be able to obtain it from the new trial and be able to then sell it on green. I believe you will be able to actually upgrade them remaining unbound. We can have a look. No, okay, so this is bound to my account. Potentially, they fixed it so that they do get bound when you upgrade them nowadays. But we need to have a look at the bonus that it all gives us. So let's get this equipped. That's the neck, the waist, and then we have the artifact already equipped as I have a second one. We're on a test build here, so don't bother looking at my stats or anything. But we can see the set itself has this following bonus. The set is called Ruthless Domination. Again, you need the neck, waist, and artifact. With having all three, you can see you increase your attributes by two. And whenever you use the daily power, you increase your stats by 5%. Power, combat advantage, and crit severity. Only lasts 15 seconds with a 30 second cooldown. And targets affected by Beguiling Blast are now charmed for an extra second. What does it mean by that? Well, that's when you go and use the actual artifact, which will increase that charm effect to five seconds versus just four seconds as it would normally be. And you'd think it'd just be an AOE artifact and that's all good. But it also has the effect of causing the target to take increased damage. Now only by 7.5%. So if we are to look at our current artifact selection, where would it fit in here? Well, it would be down the bottom. It would be uh, just above the Book of Wild Darkness at 7.5% between your tokens and so on. I mean, 
it's an okay artifact but since we already have like 11 at a 10 percent debuff that are reliably to be used like i wouldn't use jewel or thirst or the token there's no need to have more there's no need for somebody in a trial to use this to debuff the enemy unless it has some other special effect first of all we'll just test that real quick does it actually increase the damage you deal by 7.5%? Because Cryptic are notorious for messing things up. It basically deals damage in a cone there, puts the debuff on the enemy, that's great, vulnerability up, and does it take increased damage? We test with the artifact, and then we test without the artifact, get our numbers, and we can see the math checks out, and it does work, increasing the damage from that 19,800, as we see just here, over to 20,357, as we see here with that 7.5% damage debuff. Now the set itself, giving the stats when you cast the daily power, well, it actually doesn't always work. Like, have a look, 69% power, we use our daily power, I clearly used it, right? Our stats didn't get increased. So on some daily powers, it's not going to work. Like, we can go use our arcane singularity, and it does get boosted up. 74% so it's working there but apparently not on some daily powers I personally think the set itself this is me giving feedback it can still be changed and hopefully it does the set could be useful and I think it could be very useful for something like a ranger if they remove the 30 second cooldown a ranger can probably cast their daily power once every 15 seconds and then could make use of this to gain those extra stats you might think it would make the ranger overpowered and uh well it might but I don't think it would get much more powerful than a wizard even if it had the set going for it. It's just, it would be the only class who could really make the most of it. Personally, I don't really like how it's set up. I don't see how it's gonna be all too useful unless it's giving a reliable boost in stats. For example, it could have like, you gain these stats, but for like a minute, and then no cooldown. So if, as long as you cast it a daily power every minute, you would have those stats. And there are some fights where that might not be that feasible, but most of the time it can be if you're using Artifact Call every minute. But there's also something pretty sneaky with the Wand of Domination right now. Basically, it works against bosses, charming them so they don't do anything. A very good example is going into Tower of the Mad Mage. So we can face Halaster here. We just first dodge his attacks, immunity frame them. Well, we'll just scroll here real quick. And you can see when he does this big ball attack, we can cast our artifact and well, that's it, gone. You phased him. And, and now he goes and he does his heat wave. This is a bit broken because if you check any Tower of the Mad Mage guides, he only phases at 80% of his hit points. Along with that, we just avoided that mechanic of the Annihilation Ball. So you could have multiple people using these. You can cheese boss fights like this by, yeah, basically disrupting the boss's abilities. I think it could be cool as long as the devs know that this can happen and can have it coded specifically that we can prevent certain mechanics but not some game breaking ones. Not break a boss so they don't do anything or something or skip phases like that. But that's the domination set and yes let's have a look at the math compared to Mithalar if you're like a magical dealer, or Demogorgon if you're a physical damage dealer. We can see with regards to the Mithalar set, it will still be better than this Mythic set with a shit ton of item level, since you gain the extra stats through the ability scores and you gain the extra damage bonus through the ability scores. And additionally, you gain like an overall damage source of about 2% that being at least on a wizard. You can check a damage log and raw pressure, which is your Mithalar set, deals about 2% of your overall damage. Then if we look at it versus the Demogorgon set, we can see the Demogorgon set will be at least 2% better than this set. Again, also taking into account the extra damage hit you would gain from the Demogorgon set, plus the damage buff. And you can see that on most cases, the Demogorgon's Wrath, which is that extra hit, is about 1% of your overall damage. So doesn't hit for much, but the extra stats, the damage buff, really make the Demogorgon set that bit better. Now, we aren't really taking into account the actual set bonus itself with regards to gaining the stats. The reason I do that is 
You want to have 90% power, 90% combat advantage, and 90% crit severity without this additional effect. You can't really afford to be losing out on those stats for the entire rest of the duration. You only cast a daily power every one minute or so, and you can't be left like three quarters of the time without those stats. Now, after all that, it doesn't mean that the Wand of Domination is going to be useless. What it has going for it is its stats. It's going to be one of the best artifacts to use as secondary. It has higher item level and it has pure offensive stats for a DPS, power, crit severity and accuracy. So yes, it will be the best secondary artifact that we'll have in the game. So finally, we have the legendary set, which is a little bit odd and I can't fully test it for you guys. Basically, we have the choker there, we have the restraint, and then we have the artifact. Now, I can't actually upgrade the artifact, but again, it will be another artifact that has 1,500 item level, and I can't upgrade it because we need special reagents for it. And these should be unlocked via the campaign. This artifact went on mythic, you will see its benefit here in the collections, will give you this. A reduction to your maximum hit points, but an increase to your action point gain, stamina regen, and move speed. It's really weird. I don't really see where this is going to play much of a role, but then it has a set bonus that goes with that, that links with the artifact. Like without the artifact, the set bonus is kind of useless. Basically, when you're under that effect of a lifted sight, your maximum hit point reduction is reduced to just a 5% reduction instead of a 20%, so that's good. And then it increases your stats by 1% for each upgrade of the artifact. So if it's on Mythic, that would be 5% extra. So it would be 7.5% plus 5%, that's 12.5% increased your action point gain, stamina regen, and movement speed. I don't, I don't see the utility benefit as being useful whatsoever. You'll just get this artifact set, to be honest, and you'll use it as a stepping stone towards something better when you need that extra item level. So overall, it's pretty underwhelming and yeah, again, it's just stepping stone stuff. The domination set as well is, is pretty underwhelming and maybe that's just stepping stone stuff as well, but it's gonna be really hard to obtain. You have to complete that master trial. Okay, there will be people farming it and over time there'll be more and more people completing it and the price will drop. And as of now, as of looking at it, it what it can give you, it's not best at slot and it, again, it's just then going to be stepping stone gear. The bonus itself of giving the extra stats upon a daily power usage is not reliable enough to be useful. Maybe for a healer, but most healers right now are using the Apocalypse set or the Vistani set to help their, their groups with extra damage. And so this isn't really going to appeal to them, even though, yes, they could make use of the stats. But again, it's only 50% uptime. So again, not reliable and then not really something people are going to use in end game at all. So ultimately, if all that is in the trial, that mythic set that you can sell and it's not even good, the trial might very well be like people run it on the first maybe month. And then after that, it's just going to kind of die. That's just kind of sad. Special thank you again to all these channel members for their continued support. I will see you guys around. Goodbye for now. Oh, and yeah, let's cast the artifact. So 8% action point gain. Cast the artifact. There we go. We gain this elithid sight and we should have 11%. So it does work, but uh, it's a weird one.